height difference here for Tony. And remember, Chris just took this fight, but like you said, Jonathan doesn't like to lose very much. No, John, Jonathan's intense. Um, definitely intense emotionally for his fights. Uh, yeah, from, you know, just talking to him and knowing him, um, I don't, he doesn't take losses very well, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm just, w w just waiting for the fireworks. Good technical striking battle here, both fighters moving, um, both light on their feet, bouncing around. Bunch of kicks from Tony. Tony seems to be the aggressor in this fight. I thought it might go the other direction, but like we said, the guys coming out of Conquest always seem to be focused and coming ahead, moving forward constantly. No, uh, definitely very tough guys. Um, as they clinch, you know, you can just feel, feel the intensity in just them clinching, slamming into each other. Couple of knees to the midsection of Tony Davidanza wearing the black shorts. Remember, Chris Vineyard just took this fight about three days ago. Working the single leg. Tony with a uh, overhook trying to stuff. John shoots lower. Trying to suck that leg in. Looking for the takedown. And good double leg takedown for John Vineyard. This is where you start to get worried for Tony because Jonathan Vineyard just really, his ground game is unbelievable. His, his ground game is definitely one of his strengths. Um, I think a a good majority of his fights have been finished by submission. All of his fights at WKA were won by submission. Oh, big slam by Mr. Vineyard. Armbar, armbar attempt by Danza. The elbow's out, though. He does have to watch the leg. Jonathan stuffing, keeping him from extending his knee out. Couple of elbows from Vineyard there to the cheek of Devin Enza. Devin Enza on the bottom, Vineyard on the top. Good control. Both fighters trying to pick their shots. Tony trying to make some space, get his guard back. Now, what's the move for Tony here to try to get out of this? Probably to shrimp, just like he's doing now, get up on his left side, trying to work the underhook, get some space. Got his back up against the cage, probably trying to stand up from here. He's doing better standing, and um, I think that's where he, he knows that's where he probably wants to be. John working to the back. This is, this is pretty strong for Tony, but Vineyard's got him. Does he have it underneath? I don't think he's got it. Vineyard's now on the back. He's definitely trying to work that choke. You can see the arm trying to come up under the neck. Uh, Tony with good technique trying to, to, to prevent this from happening. I don't think he's got it under the chin, does he? I, from this angle, I can't really tell, but definitely, definitely seems like uh, he's got to worry about that. I think Tony's doing a good, yes, Tony's doing a good job defending, staying out. Jonathan's still on the back. Tony's trying to stand. I think John has the choke. Nope, lost it. And, and the differences in these titles fights is that you're fighting three five-minute rounds. So I don't think people understand how, how hard it is to fight for five minutes. No, there's, you know, when... Uh, the difference, the difference between three and five minutes is an eternity when you're in the ring. Yes, definitely. Even, even sparring, when you see people move from three to five-minute rounds just sparring, there's a huge difference in uh, uh, performance in training out, you know, at initially. Vineyard on the top. Now, he just shot him to the back of the head. I thought that that was a no-no a, a here. I mean, I think he was aiming more for the side. As long as it doesn't hit directly behind the ears down the center, it's okay. Um, usually, usually refs uh, kind of have discretion on what they think it is. If it's multiple strikes to the back of the head, generally that's where... Um, you'll see refs call it. Vineyard's still trying for that rear naked choke. Still got him, though, on that rear mount. Tony's defense is definitely uh, definitely good from this position. Tony just... right now, though, with about 19 seconds left to go in this first round, seems to be letting me get out of this. Oh, on top, escaping from the back. Might be a little too, too little, too late here in round number one. Get some points, though. Big elbows. 
from Tony. Ooh. Hey, Tony. Kevin Ozzie came away with a couple of elbows. I, I think if Tony, if Tony had another 10 seconds, I think that might have ended. The, the fight might have ended just there. Jonathan pushing. I think, depending on how you score that, he had the, the back most of the time, but the damage at the end, I don't know. The question is now, with Vineyard taking this fight with such short notice, is will he be in shape? The conditioning for Vineyard. Now, I can't imagine he's that far out of uh, being in condition, but there's a difference between being in shape and being in fight shape. Absolutely. You know, uh, generally when you uh, when you don't have a fight coming up, you're a little uh, a little lax on, uh, you know, some people anyway are a little on training. And it, you know, it just depends on who you are, but... Uh, when you're not training specifically for a fight, there's definitely a difference in your uh, your cardio ability. All right, Mike King, the referee, gets the corners out, gets them set to go for round number two here in this 145 title fight. Tony Davidunza in the black shorts, Jonathan Vineyard in the white shorts. Both fighters meet in the middle of the ring as they stand up one more time. Vineyard, a late replacement for another fighter coming out of Capital MMA. Vineyard sitting at 5-2. and two. Tony sitting at 3-0. and oh. Good right to the face of Vineyard from David Anza as he crushes that. Tony's power, Tony definitely has some power in his hands. He's got long arms, very good technique, good rotation with the hips. Definitely generate power very well with his hands. As a fighter, Reed, do you get do you get a little intimidated by a taller guy, by a taller fighter? Um, you know, it depends. If they're really good at using their reach and staying out, and they can and they can be hard also at the same time. Yeah, it can be it can be it can be a very big challenge, especially if they make it almost impossible for you to get inside. It can uh, definitely be um, an issue you have to deal with. Taking shots, Vineyard on the bottom. This is trouble as he comes down with a couple of round and pounds. Tony elbows. Mike Harris stops the fight. One minute into the second round. Tony Davidanza comes away with a huge win. 